Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll take a look at the men's volleyball team midway through the season. William Troyer will talk with three seniors about their basketball careers and a look at your Maple Leaf schedule for the week. All that is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Josh Taylor. The Goshen College men's volleyball team is now halfway through their regular season. At 12-6, and six, the team will look to continue their winning ways to get ready for the conference tournament. Here's Benjamin Cotton with more. The Goshen College men's volleyball team has already exceeded expectations as the men already have more home wins than this season compared to the two previous. And the men have 11 more games left on the schedule. Head coach Jim Daughtery speaks about the success of the Maple Leafs. Uh, one of the things we've done is, is that we, we, we built this team over the, over the uh, summer to be competitive in this conference. And right now, that's, that's showing. Um, we have uh, three of the four uh, last of the conference matches here, so we're excited about that. So um, we're looking forward to the last four matches. Leadership is also an important trait to have for a successful team. As Dari speaks about one of his captains, Nick Yuxi. Uh Very uh, even killed, uh, just uh, not, not out of focus with emotion and not not too, uh, doesn't lack emotion, he's just an even kill kid and he, he uh, thinks from all directions and it, it's been helping with the team as far as in team meetings and things like that. Yuxi is a junior who does service in the back row and he touched on how important he tries to make an impact with his team. Yeah, just a uh, high level energy, um, positive energy as well, um, lead by example um, and pick people up when, when things aren't going well, um, just so we can take it one game at a time and, and, and do what we need to do in practice. The Maple Leafs have won six of the last seven games and are 6-1 and one at home. You actually explain some mindset during the season. Yeah, uh, it, it's something we knew we could do. Um, games that we, we thought were very winnable um, and taking it game at a time, uh, never underestimating an, an opponent and coming in with the same energy no matter if they're ranked or, or not or, or barely have any wins. So um, coming in with a high level of energy um, each game has been big for us. The one thing that stands out is that we don't give up. We've been behind three and five points in those sets and we come back from being behind and, and take the lead and win. Uh, the, the thing is that we finish strong and we, and we finish with the win. So. Currently the Maple Leafs are 12 and 6 in the regular season including a ranked win on the road versus the fourth ranked team in the nation. The Maple Leafs are three and three in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference. And their next span of games will be at Lincoln College, at Robert Morris University, and at Judson University. For Glow Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton. The team will be on the road for the next couple of matches before returning home on March 18th. When we return, William Troyer will talk with Allison Priggy. Benjamin Cotton, and Tanner Camp to talk about their careers with the Maple Leafs. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm William Troyer. To my right, Benjamin Cotton, Allison Priggy, and Tanner Camp, three seniors for the men's and women's basketball teams. Guys, thanks for coming down to the studio today. All right, so during your time as a Maple Leaf, uh, four years on the team, how have you changed since coming to Goshen College to now graduating? Um, so with basketball, I think a big part for the four years was just uh, the confidence that I had in the game. You know, when I first came in my freshman year, you know, it's a whole new experience. You know, in the Crossroads League, which is arguably the best league for a lot of the sports around. You know, you got <laughs> Indiana Wesleyan, you got Taylor, you got Mount Vernon, you got Spring Arbor. Uh, so, so many great teams. But uh, being able to play against that competition and know that I could hold up my own against it, uh, especially from freshman year when I honestly thought I had no chance to play against them. So uh, I would say for basketball, just my confidence overall, and that also helps translate in the classroom for me. So thanks to basketball, and then just even myself as a person uh, in terms of being my, myself and not acting like somebody that I don't want to be. So basketball has really helped me with my confidence. Yeah, uh, going off that, I would also have to agree that my confidence level is just 
um, a lot higher than it had been before coming here, you know, as a person, as a basketball player, as a broadcaster. Um, one thing that I am grateful for, um, for Goshen is that, you know, back home in Ohio, everyone is, you know, kind of similar. Everyone looks the same, thinks the same. Um, and I'm grateful for the diversity um, on Goshen College's campus. It's definitely made me more open-minded and I have a wide variety of relationships with a wide variety of people. And uh, yeah, I'm just grateful for everything that it's offered me. Yeah, uh, for me on the court, I kind of had to get like a, a reality check real quick because like I was able to win state my senior year. So coming in the couch, had had a big head come in thinking that. It's like, all right, now one one in high school, now I'm gonna take over and I'll be the college star. So. But like realizing how great the competition is, like Tanner, you touched on it with Crossroads League. Just that, basically, like eight of our ten teams are always ranked or receiving mm -hmm. votes. So it's just it's crazy to just be able to play against guys like that, nine in and nine out, and just that's what it comes like, just being confident in yourself, and that's what, what uh, my coaches here have taught me to do. Just try to build my own self confidence to compete against others. Yeah, so all three of you have been part of the uh, the Globe staff. Um, reflect on your time um, on the staff and of your four years. Um, so I would say for me, uh, coming in, you know, I originally just wanted to be uh, a sports broadcaster, but I also didn't know how much I was going to get involved with. So I started off, you know, doing some on-air shifts and then, then eventually calling the games. Uh, and then I didn't realize how much more practice that I still did need. So uh, Jason's mindset is, you know, just keep uh, practicing with it. And the on-air shifts were a big part of that confidence level also. So, you know... Uh, talking about different events over the air, uh, and that really helped translate into my broadcasting skills and then being able to host. So um, starting off as just an on-air DJ and now being the sports director for the second year in a row, uh, I did not realize how much change there was going to be with that. But, I'm, again, I'm super blessed to be able to even be the, in the position where I'm at with arguably one of the best stations in the entire country. Yeah, it's kind of funny to see how the station and the staff has changed and grown over the years. Um, when I first came into school, I didn't even want to do broadcasting. I was a math major. wanted to be a high school math teacher. That, that changed really quickly. Um, got involved with the communications program here and with, with Jason Samuel, and he brought me over to the, you know, the station. And um, It was funny because I remember as a freshman, you have like the 9 to 11 shift on a Wednesday night. I just remember praying like, oh, I hope no one is listening. I hope no one is listening. Um, and now, you know, I'm on air a lot for you know, just at the station or doing basketball games or doing stuff here in the TV studio for Globe News, uh, Globe Sports. And, you know, each year our program wins national awards and wins state awards. And we have some really awesome alumni doing some great things right now. So I'm just really grateful to be a part of such a, a prestigious, pro prestigious program. So, Yeah, uh, for me on the academic side is I never realized how – how competitive it was in the broadcasting world. It's just like I knew in basketball, it was like you you get to see the people you're competing against every day. But with Jason, like he made it seem like it was like no, it is just as important, but it's just as like as competitive as where everyone's grinding to get better, make themselves like, better on the voice or on camera, and just trying to just compete among others. Cause like I had no idea what uh, the intercollegiate broadcast systems were, so I was like <laughs> I was like yeah, we're the best station in the nation. I was like oh yeah, that's a cool little ring too. It's like no. We really are. We won that. I was like, what? <laughs> so it's like it's cool to see how like you're actually like competing for stuff and just what like he just shows us how you just compete at life at everything you do. Yes, yeah, so you just uh, touched on Jason. Talk about some of your role models on and off the court uh, here at Goshen College that you've uh, developed relationships with. So for me, yeah, like we had touched on, Jason Samuel. He's the type of professor where he cares about you as a student, but he genuinely cares about you as a person and wants the best for you here wants the best for you, you know, after graduation, and I'll always be grateful uh, for, for everything that he's done for me. Pertaining to basketball, definitely Coach Miller. Um, she also just cares so wholeheartedly about you as a person and wants to develop young, you know, strong women. And I, I really respect her and everything that she's done for me. Uh, we always make jokes because, you know, freshman year, appendectomy, I had a broken leg, mono, like literally everything that you could throw at me, uh, you know, it happened. And... I was having a really hard time with that, and she was right there, uh, right there for me. And um, lastly, I'd also say Jamani Thomas is a huge role model of mine. So my senior year in high school, she was a senior at Goshen College, and holds a lot of records here, a thousand point score, uh, led the team to the national tournament that year. And I just remember watching her, and I was like, wow, like I want to be like her someday. And um, these last two years, she's been helping as part of the coaching staff, and it's really cool just to hear her perspective and. Uh, to get to know her on a personal level, you know, we play uh, like 
eight ball pool and stuff through text messaging. We're always in touch. And so I'm really grateful for her and everything that, you know, she's also brought to the table. Uh, for me, I have a lot. It just, like, I have to break it down to stages. It's really, like, <laughs> talked about Jason already. He, he just, like, it's, he reminds you of a friend, but really he's just family. Like, it's hard to just, just call him just your professor mm -hmm. here at Goshen. It's just that he does so much off the clock. It's just, like, on the clock, like, yeah, he, he does a great job, but, like, the people don't see what happens behind the scenes. If he's coming over, helping us out with certain things, or we're up till 2 o'clock in the morning working <laughs> in the station, trying to get in packages, make sure it's just perfect so we can send out for our audience. So it just having someone like that is like, works hard is good, because that's, like, kind of like how I grew up with everyone just like you got to take care of your own stuff so you got to like go forward head first and on the basketball side Rod Wilmot came in my junior year and I was currently going through a, a slump shooting from three and that's supposed to be like supposed to be my job I gotta make those but um, Wilmot he was he was just so good to me because he had a, a, some type of confidence I'd never seen before that I needed and his confidence just started to it started to spread on me where I was when I was able to be so confident, like there's a guy in my face, I'm still gonna shoot it because I put in that work uh, before that game in the off season to get those reps up. So having having him work with me and also like just break down my shot and for all those hours we put in together, I really appreciate him. He's also a family. And last, so just my grandfather, he had dementia for a long time. So he, even though he wasn't able to talk to me, it's just that as his like as his mind was losing. Like, I was able to be, like, grateful for all the things that I had every day compared to what he had to uh, deal with every day. So just a lot of, like, just a lot of role models around me just by seeing them by a living image. Um, I think for me on the broadcasting side, Jason Samuel, I mean, they touched on it a lot. I think they said perfectly with what he is in terms of just his character and his love for the students and broadcasting in general. Uh, that's really helped me, and that along with uh, all the other basketball players and other broadcasters helped gain my confidence, uh, just him always believing that I can do my absolute best and pushing me to do better, um, to try to go for the, the dreams that I have of wanting to be a great sports broadcaster, so he's really helped with that. And then in terms of the basketball side, I would say from last year, DeMarcus Stuckey, his confidence in the hmm. game and how hard um, of work he puts in, uh, kind of like how Ben does when it comes to getting shots up, um, and everyone when it comes to improving their broadcasting skills, just his confidence in the game is just what made me really respect him. So that's why when he was our, uh, a le true leader last year, um, I, I had his back the whole time. So he really helped me with my confidence in all aspects, both on the court and off the court. All right, a little bit of a tougher question. 120 games you guys have probably played in four years, uh, maybe 1,000 practices, I don't know. Can't do that quick math. But anyways, uh, your favorite memory in four years um, on the basketball court? Ooh, I know, it's tough, but it, it's hard to sit on. It's like... Uh... So many of them. Oh, my goodness. I mean, your guys is so easy. Like, I already know exactly. Well, maybe not, but I have an idea of what you guys are probably going to Tanner, go ahead and hit her with it. You yeah. know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Mine was easily um, the three-pointer that I made against Indiana Wesleyan last year uh, when they were ranked number one at the time. And then it eventually, DeMarcus Stuckey hit the big three-pointer to help us secure that win with a great shot. Um, I think part of it is after I shot that, you know, you always dream of having those type of opportunities. So I remember it was when I set the screen, I popped. I was like, if Stucky finds me, I'm just going to go and shoot this. I felt a lot of confidence going up with that. And then when it hit the bottom of the net and the place just erupted, that was when I was like, I thought I was honestly in a dream during that time. So being able to do that against, the, at that time, the best team in the country uh, was an unbelievable opportunity that I'm so glad that I, I took the shot. And, you know, it obviously went in and helped us beat Indiana Wesleyan. So that's something that I'll... Uh, cherish for the rest of my life um for the women's side I guess I think back to my freshman year um and being the only senior I was the only one on the team that had experienced this but you know we had been dealing with a lot of adversity we had some um culture issues my freshman year we had a lot of injuries that we were dealing with and we only ended up going out to our first round of the tournament at Marion with six girls which in case you guys don't know, they later on won the national tournament that year. Uh, so we only had six girls that were able to play against their team. And, like, earlier in the year, they had just, like, whooped us. I think they beat us at home by, like, 51. We lost to them at their place earlier that year by, like, 30 or 40-something. So going into the game, we weren't really sure what we were going to get into. We had only lost by, like, the smallest deficit yet. It was, like, 20-some points, and everyone just played so well, and it was just kind of like a relaxed environment. Um... And I don't know why, like, me and still, you know, some of the girls that have already graduated still talk about it, like, what a just weird and, like, crazy experience that was, but I think it really brought us all together. 
Um, so that's always something that I'll, you know, cherish. And um, I also had my career high that night for freshman year, first start, uh, 17 points. And um, yeah, it's just something I'll always remember. And then this year, probably the Bethel game, uh, they're a huge rivalry for us. That was big. And uh, just, it's a huge rivalry. And in the first half, we did not play well. I think our nerves got the, you know, got the most of us, and we just did not have a good first half. I think we went into halftime like down like 12 or something, and we just got really hot the second half. Like I think between me and Janara Flowers, I think there was 12 threes combined uh, between the two of us in the second half. Claire Rauk hit a bunch, and um, we ended up coming back and winning. And there was a, just a ton of people there. There was a huge home crowd. Like you could hear the crowd like roaring behind you after each three. And it was something that I had not experienced yet at Goshen. And it's giving me goosebumps right now just thinking about it. But it was just a really cool moment for our team this year. Yeah, no, I, I, remember, I remember being in the locker room. Remember they kept on it just hit like, like pricky three. Yeah, but our <laughs> locker room was shaking and stuff. It was crazy. But, uh, yeah, that was an awesome win for y'all. But uh, for me, coming into my senior year, I wanted to compete with among the other shooters in the league. And my goal was to finish top five. I was just outside of it. Like I was, I was seventh, but I, like I, I can, I can live with being top ten in the conference <laughs> for a three pointer, a three pointer percentage. So I was able to finish at forty five percent. So it was, it was a, that was probably one of my favorite moments just in my senior year. And Tanner touched on it beating Iwu when they're at their best at home. It's just that one's hard to top, but individual wise, just uh -huh. be able to compete with those other type of shooters, those elite shooters, was right. fun to do. Well, and being one of your friends and stuff, like I was happy for you this year just because like. I see you in the gym all the time, like early in the morning, before practice, after mm -hmm. practice, and so like, I don't know. This is not part of the question, but like, it was just cool to see. <laughs> like, yeah, we don't need Yeah, why don't we just talk for a second? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just really cool to see all your hard work pay off because I know yeah. that's you know a big goal of yours, and so I was happy for you. Definitely yeah, appreciate that. All right, so final question: uh, You'll step off Goshen College campus in two months or so. Um, what are some things you're going to take with you uh, as you exit the campus? The relationships. Um, for me, I've gained some of my best friends here, uh, three of which are in this room right now, um, along with a lot of my teammates. And I'm just really grateful for all the opportunities I've had here. Um, one thing that I have definitely learned, and if you, you know, it's not something that, you know, it's private, but like if you look at our record, we weren't, you know, super successful when you look at the numbers um, each year, you know, in and out. But one thing that it's taught me is, um, you know, being persistent in your efforts and that's just life you know you can work really hard at something over and over and over again and not always get the results you want or reap the benefits that you want and I think I'm a stronger person leaving here just because you know I've had to deal with failure and I think that that's something that not everyone gets to experience and um, it's something that I know that will you know pay off later in the real world because nothing is picture perfect afterwards and so um yeah i'm just grateful for the relationships and the lessons that i've learned here so uh, for me definitely agree with you with the relationships that's something very important to me uh something else uh goshen college is maybe be like more aware of people i can't i kind of came in just like like i, I cared about ev about everyone but single-minded just about um it's like, well, this is what I'm going through, but not aware of like other people's struggle. Like, mm -hmm. I've learned how just to open up more to the other people and also listen. So, like, that's sometimes that's all you need, just somebody to listen to you, and you just get through day to day or week to week. So, I'm glad Goshen taught me those like type of values of valuing another person. Um, so those are just a few of the many things that I'm uh, grateful for with it. Um, you know, when I was younger, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to go to college just because I didn't honestly think I was college material. But um, so basketball was a huge reason. For that, so I'm super thankful for just the opportunity to even play at the collegiate level. There are a lot of people that would love to be in the position that we're at. They spend just as many hours as, as us, and they don't get that same opportunity. So just thankful for uh, kind of uh, let's say the relations, um, kind of uh, just the people that I've met, and then I think just the memories. I've made so many memories from the New York trip to the games that we've played, uh, even just to working on certain assignments for different classes. Just Everything about the campus, uh, for me personally, um, is just a huge opportunity. Even on the nights when you know you stay up so late, you work on these projects, and yeah. you're, it, it does not feel like it at the time. Um, you, you just brought us on. Oh, my gosh. I remember freshman year. <laughs> freshman year for uh, basketball, we went on a paintball trip. And <laughs> so it was me and my friend Rob, and we're on the same team. Tanner's on the opposite with his yeah. dad. So, so real quick... Me and Rob, pop, pop, Tanner and Tanner is dad around, right? I'm done. I'm so out. Tanner's I'm out. walking with his hands out, and me and Rob are just <laughs> smacking him. 
It, oh, it was so funny because he got mad, and in the second round, it was dads versus sons. So me and Robert, Tanner goes, "Hey, you two go ahead. I'll, I'll watch you." And he was like, "All right, cool, cool. Tell me why we go up." And Tanner just taking us out in the back. It was <laughs> so funny. Uh, just times like that is where it's like I'm be happy, like I could be able to tell my kids about Tanner or Allie, or the times I'm with you, Will, playing 2K or something like that. It just like oh, uh, like these memories would just be just be great to look back on. But yeah, no, like and like they've said with that, just the memories in general are something that I won't forget. I'm just super thankful uh, to meet the people that I've had, um, and also blessed to be in this graduating class uh, with these two. Wouldn't want to be with anyone else. All right, guys. Again, thanks for coming down to the studio. When we return, Josh Taylor looks ahead at the Maple Leaf schedule. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. Tomorrow is the first day of the NAIA National Indoor Championships. Best of luck to the five athletes representing Goshen College as they compete over the next three days. The men's volleyball team will be on the road tomorrow and Saturday, taking on Robert Morris and Judson. Finally, the baseball team will be at home for the first time this season on Friday and Saturday, taking on conference opponent Taylor University. That's going to wrap up another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on social media at 91.1 The Globe, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe, and visit our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner. <laughs>